your theories are very revolutionary, yet you yourself are not a revolutionary. They're only revolutionary in the sense that modern medicine is so really backward as far as this, thing is, this sort of thing is concerned now. Seventy years ago, they wouldn't have been considered revolutionary at all. When the founder of this program, Dr. Rusk, Howard Rusk, was here, I wasn't an outsider at all. But when he left, those who followed him were more like the uh, uh, typical modern-day physician today and totally, totally unaware of emotional factors. Right. What's very indicative uh, is that I get no referrals from physicians in this medical center. And of course, there are hundreds and hundreds of them. You know, it's, it's remarkable when you think about it. it they've all got their their religious fervor about what they do. Right. And, and they're supposed to be objective. If they looked at these patients objectively, they would conclude in a large majority of cases that the evidence actually is against the structural abnormality as the cause of pain. Right. Because there's no correlation between what we see clinically, where the patient has the pain, what we find on physical examination, and what the MRI shows, for example. I mean, it's remarkable and they don't see it, and they should. If they were honest, they'd say, well, heavens, no, we can't operate on this person. But if a surgeon sees that, oh, better have surgery right away. It's amazing.